Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel for another Age of Magic video. Today we're going to take a look at it, the four main startup characters. Um, just a little bit of gameplay on them, talk about them a bit, how we want to go about them. Um, yeah, so I hope this helps all you new beginners out there, and let's get on with the video. So, as you well know by now, we start off with Roland. We're going to do a little bit of a gameplay here with him. Roland's going to be your main character up until I'm about level 20. Once we get him up to there, we should have unlocked a few other characters by then, and we'll start working on a few other characters along the way, but Roland's pretty much going to drop off. I recommend about level 20 because you want to get to level 17 so you can use friends. Once we're at level 17 and we can grab Belara and we can use a friend's Lucky or a friend's Rock or a friend's Sacra, whatever friends you got, we don't really need our characters anymore. We can just motor through the campaign. We can three star a lot of nodes. We can farm the gear from them nodes. There's no reason for Roland, Tenada, and Raga. They can just sit back where they were. The only reason we're leveling them at the start is to get our arena positions um, and to get through that campaign until level 17 where you can start adding friends. So you see here we've done a bit of gameplay tells you to level him up. When you're leveling up your starter heroes, you want to try and level them up pretty much evenly. So Roland starts off at level 7, you get him to level 8, and then once we unlock Rogar, we want to start building him up to level 8. We will unlock Tenator just after that. We want to get him up to level 8 before we take um, Roland to level 9. It's all about gearing your squad evenly. That way you, you've you got a nice sound squad. You haven't got one weak character, two strong characters. Like, you, by all means, if you want to try it the other way and just have Roland leveled straight up, fully geared, and trying to beat squads by himself, so be it. I just think it's more sensible just to get there and have him have your squad nice and even so you can just have that bit of a safety barrier in battles. This part of you will show you about gearing. Now, my next video, which I'll release shortly after this one tonight, is all about efficient gearing. But for now, it's just going to show you, yep. We put a gear in there, we leave, we go into another battle. It's all part of the startup process that we all go through when we start the game. But the other video is going to show you how to gear effectively. And what I mean by effectively is having, having the gear you want for a character in your shop at all times. Now, I've gonna give you previews on most of my accounts I have five as a lot of people know um, and you can see what I've done wrong and what I've done right and you'll see the difference between what I'm talking about in that but that'll be in that video so now we've unlocked Rogar you know Rogar had the potential to be a really good character a really good tank he just, he drops off. He's, he's, he's rubbish in his form the way he is. Um, the way I use him in battles lower on is do not use his taunt at all because he'll die straight away. What you want to do is have all your damage dealers, your healers, whatever other characters. As soon as one gets into that danger zone... Hit Rogar with your taunt then because you want him to die and not your damage dealer. Especially if there's only one enemy left. You don't want Rogar having to fight him. And there you go. We've 
Unlock Tanita. Tanita. I don't know how you say it. I'll probably get a lot of people tell me. Now, again, this guy punches a lot of damage early on. He's a really good damager. The problem is he is so weak. He can virtually get one shot by any jag on the opposing team. Um, for that reason, the way I effectively use him is once you unlock Bellara, Roland wants to put his shield on Bellara all the time. So the way to get around that is have Bellara at a lot higher level and a lot higher gear than Tenator. Because then he'll put the shield onto Tenator straight up and he survives that little bit extra longer for you. Because if he can get his two skills off, he can take out someone instantly with those. So, but again, we're going to get him up to level 20 and drop him off from there like he he would have been an amazing character a bit of rework and he he'll be a really good character um so we've unlocked him again you're gonna go gear him and you'll see it here very shortly what i mean by gearing and effective gearing so we've unlocked valera now she is going to be the character you're going to level past 20. You only want to take her to level 50, 5 equipment, and um, 5 star. It's great to work on her early because if you try to work on a late game, you're just wasting a lot of resources on equipment and stuff that you don't need just to get a star level up. So that's why I recommend you start on her now. Try and get a star level up. Because then you're not wa wasting resources later on in the game. Because you want her for Siegfried. He's one of the best tanks in the game. And she's one of the characters you need for his event. So getting her up early is what you really want to do. But with that said guys, that's our starting characters. And look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.